So here the very important point is, if only pre-order and post-order is given, then it is not possible to construct a unique binary tree. I am saying unique binary tree. Point. Second point is, if only pre-order and post-order is given, then it is possible to construct a unique full binary tree. Okay. See, you cannot construct a unique binary tree. You can construct a unique full binary tree. I'll show you how. I will take both the examples, full binary tree also and for a binary tree also. And I'll, I'll discuss with you the full method of constructing the binary tree from pre-order and post-order. Plus, I'm going to tell you the trick, simple trick, how to construct a binary tree from pre-order and post-order. Fine. So, let us take this example. We have pre-order and post-order is given. Now, you are supposed to construct a binary tree. Fine. See, according to the method, I'm going to tell you first of all. See, what is the pre-order? Here we have root, left and right. Pre-order traversal and post-order traversal is left, right and root. Fine. Now, first step is you are supposed to find out the root. How to find out the root? First element in pre-order is root and last element is also root. So, f and f. So, you can say f is root of the tree. Now, you can say here you can write f. So, now f is the root. Now, next step is you are supposed to find out the left subtree and right subtree of this f. Right. So, the next step is check out the successor of this f. Next, next element in pre-order is successor of this root is b. Fine. Now, find out where is b in this post-order traversal. b is at this place. Right. Now, all the elements from here from starting to b would be element of the left subtree. Fine. So, the element of left subtree are a, c, e, d and b these are element of left subtree and remaining element are from h i g f we have already taken as root element these are element of right subtree now problem has been divided into two parts this is the post order now see this post order uh, this post order has been divided into two parts this one and this one so fine so two sub problems are there for this sub problem the pre order is the pre order is c f we have already taken from b to this e so why till e how you come to know that that pre order is from b to e you can see the element also next step is you can find out the predecessor of this root element in post order in post order predecessor predecessor is g now find out where is g in pre order so here we have g so from b to e the previous element of g till that element from b to e those element would be the part of left subtree and from this g to last h element would be the part of right subtree now we have again i am writing pre order is b a d c and e and post order for this sub problem is a c e d and b now i am going to construct the left subtree first now this is the pre order this is the post order now again recursively you have to apply the same step on this thing now see how to find out root first element this is root and here we have last element both elements are same so b is the root from these elements b is the root for left subtree right b and b now next step was find out the successor of this b in pre order successor of root in pre order that is a find out where is a in post order right here we have a so all the elements from the starting to this a would be the part of left subtree but here we have only one element a only we have only a so, so this a would be the part of left subtree and the c e d c e d these are part of right subtree fine so left is over now this again problem has been divided into sub problems now here here post order is only c e and d 
Now for this post order, pre order would be pre order would also divided into two parts. But see, this is the sub problem that is over. Now for C, E, and D. See here we have post order is C, E, and D. For this sub problem, pre order is divide this pre order into two parts. This C. A we have already taken. Now apply the same rule. Find out the predecessor of this root element that is D. Find out where is D in pre order. Here we have D. So we are not going to take D. The previous element is A. So for this sub problem, the post order is A and always the pre order is also A. So this side we have only one element. This pre order for this C E D is what D C and E D C and E. Right. Now apply same step again. root is d here we have root so here out of these element d would be the root now d we have taken find out the successor successor of this d in pre order that is c now find out where is c in post order here we have c so all the elements from the starting to c would be the part of left subtree but we have only one element c so c is part of left subtree remaining remaining element is only e so e is the part of right subtree because d we have already taken so this is over now now let us consider this right side because we have only con we have constructed this left subtree now what about this one now for this sub problem post order is h i and g and pre order is pre order is g i and h g i and h right so now find out root root is first element in pre order g or you can say last element in post order so from these elements g would be the root so we have taken g now next step is find out successor of this root element in pre order in pre order that is i and next step is locate where is i in this post order now here we have i right so now from starting till i all the elements would be part of left subtree so left subtree part is h and i so here we have h and i right and there is no right element remaining because g we have already taken so right subtree would be null okay fine now again we have this post order problem has been divided into two parts so now post order is h and i and for this this pre order would be pre order would be g we have already taken i and h right again apply same step root would be i right root is i from these element only h, h is remaining now find out next element is h or you can say successor of this root element in pre order that is h now find out where is h in post order here we have h now all the elements from starting to this this element to till h would be the part of left subtree but we have only one element h so at h is left subtree and no right element is there so right element so so the right subtree is null so now this is our boundary tree from this pre order and post order right now i am going to tell you the simple trick now the simple trick is how to construct from pre order and post order c root is always the first element in pre order okay fine we have f is the root now find out next element in this pre order that is b right now where is b in this post order b is at this place now if this this next element this this b this next element of this root which is in pre order if this next element in post order is to the left of root to the left of root then that element would be part of the root now root is f and b is obviously to the left of this root so this b is part of f either the left child of f or the or the right child of f right now here we have no left child no right child so first of all you are going to fill left child right so here we will write b fine find out next element next element is a now find out where is a in post order a is at this place so now here a is to the left of b 
it is also the left of f but we are going to take what b we are going we are working on this b now right so to the left of p we have a so a is part of b and b is not having any left and right child so we are going to fill first of all left child so here we will write a next element is d find out where is d here we have d d is to the left of this b right obviously it is left of f but we are going to take first of all b because it is immediate left of b so it is part of b fine but b has already left child so the remaining place is only right child so here we will write d next is c where is c here we have c now c is to the left of to the left of first first element first root is d although c is left of b also f also but when we are going to when we are going to traverse this from left to right then first you will find what d so it is part of d so we are going to write to the left of d that is c next is e where is e here we have e traverse from left to right first we, we, first element you find is d so it is part of d only part of this root d so we are going to write to the right of d because left is already filled here we are right e next is g find out where is g here we have g g is to the left of f right so it is part of f now left is over because it is it has left child is already filled so right is only remaining so here we will write g next is i now find out where is i here we have i i is to the left of c when you are going to traverse this left to right from i so first element is g so it is part of g so we will write i here on next is h where is h traverse this first element is i so it is part of i so we are going to write is we are going to write here to the left of i so this is our binary tree using that trick so see you can see that this and this are same but i i already told you we cannot uniquely construct a binary tree using pre and post order now look at this binary tree if you find out pre order and post order for this binary tree then you can find out the same pre and post order you can find out and you can tell me in the comment box whether you are finding the same binary same pre order and post order for this binary tree or not but see this binary tree is different from the binary tree we have constructed using our methods right that is why i am saying that if pre and post order is given only pre and post order is given then you cannot construct a unique binary tree because here we are getting two binary tree for two binary tree we are having same pre and post order right so now this is the proof so now second point was you can construct a unique full binary tree from given pre and post order now let us check i am going to update in this also see if if i t if i uh, make this binary tree as full binary tree then what should be the changes see full binary tree is what every node is having either zero or two children that is the only condition for full binary tree every node is having either zero or two children right it's not like that all the level should be completely filled or except last level or something like this as we have discussed in complete binary tree no the only condition is every node is having only zero or two children two children now for making this a full binary tree this child this node is having only one child so i am going to put one more child that is i and j and this node is only having one child and k so i guess this is now a full binary tree right same we are, we are going to make this as a full binary tree and we are going to construct this so for this full binary tree the pre order and post order is this one now i am going to rub this see i am not going to take this one and now suppose we have only this pre order and post order now we are supposed to construct a full binary sorry you are supposed to construct a binary tree fine i am going to construct using the simple trick because i have already discussed the me method you can apply that method and you can find out the binary tree you find out the same answer so now for root pre order we will check the pre order this one is f first element is root so this is root f is root right now find uh, check out what is the next element to this root in pre order only that is b now find out where is b in post order here we have b 
right and this b is to the left of root root is f and b is to the left of root right so it means b is part of f and part of f means either left or right but here we don't have any child so first of all we are going to fill left child so here we will write b next is a in post order here we have a so traverse the post order from left to right first element find is from f to b the element which are in the tree first element is b so it is part of b so we are going to write here left of b a next element is d find out where is d in post order here we have d so traverse this first element find is b so it is part of b here we will write d to the right of b because left is already filled c here we have c and when you are going to traverse then it is it is to the first element is d and so it is to the left of this d right so it is part of d so to the left of d we have c next is e here we have e in post order it is to the left of d so here we will write e next is g where is g here we have it is to the left of f so left child is over it is part of f left is filled so the only place is right here we will write g next is i where it i is at this place now the first element when you are going to traverse this from left to right first element is g out of these elements which are the part of now tree g so it is it means it is a part of g we are going to fill the left child of g here we will write i next is h where we have h here we have h traverse this first element is i so it is part of i so here we will write to the left of i we will write h next is k here we have k it is left of i so it is part of i only right child is remaining so we'll write here what k next is j here we have j it is part of g right so left is child is filled so only right is remaining here we will write what j so this is the binary tree using this pre and post order so this is i guess the same first of all this was the tree and we 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 made it a full binary tree in by inserting j here and k here this is full binary tree that is why we are able to construct this uniquely so you have to take care of this thing you can only construct a unique full binary tree from given pre order and post order you cannot construct a unique binary tree from given pre and post order right now i guess you can apply the method on this thing because we have already discussed how the method is to be applied if i apply the method on this thing then the video would be very lengthy so i left this thing to you you have to construct a full binary tree or you can say binary tree from this using that method full method and you are going to tell me in the comment that you are going you are you are finding the same answer as we have found using the trick right and the third is see suppose if i i make this binary tree as full binary tree so full for full binary tree here we will here i will insert j and here i will insert k see now for this this full binary tree the pre and post order is this one now question for you is you don't have this binary tree you just look at pre and post order you are given this pre and post order and you are supposed to find out you are supposed to construct a binary tree so try to construct a binary tree using the trick also and plus the method also so that you get familiar with both the approaches fine and just tell me whether you are you are finding this the same uh, binary tree from this pre and post order or not in the comment box right so i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care